Hey everyone, welcome to Soulfish. I really appreciate you being here with me. It is a beautiful day in northern Arizona. And as you know, we've been talking about how much the energy has been wonkified, right? You've been feeling it for my empath buddies. Man, you know, <laughs> the, you know these big waves that come in, they help to purge you and open you up. And if you're not careful, if you're not in control of your zhuzh, if you're not in your space, right? If you let that negative vibe bring you into this kind of negative karma vortex where you're circling the drain, you know what I'm saying? Then then it's missed on you. <clears throat> in other words, you, you miss out on on the benefit because it took you out of the game. In other words, you weren't able to clear out fast enough. It happens. It's going to happen. That's not your fault. That's not. I'm not putting that on you. That sounded like, hey, dude, you better do something about that. That's not. I'm letting you know that's what happens. It happens to all of us, and regardless of what level you're at. Okay. So it's just it's just different. It happens in different ways. So. I want to stress that with you. So where are some ways I use right now to recharge when that's happening, when I'm starting to feel like, what am I going to do about that? I'm going to give you three things I do. One, nature. Nature is a huge component. You know, trees um, are sentient beings. Plants are sentient beings. Uh, rocks have energy associated. Everything here is energy. I mean, you know that we've had that discussion. I mean, everything is energy. And so when you get yourself in nature, when you take your shoes off, put your feet on some rocks, some dirt, you know, people say that helps to ground you out or whatever. You know, yeah, it does. But also what I think it does is a, is, is this kind of an electron release, is this kind of a, and people have talked to different things. I think there's a book called Grounding. Um, and if so, check it out in our reading list or whatever. You might find that interesting. But um, uh, it talks about this transmission of electrons and, and, that's kind of what happens when you're next to water, for example, a huge amount of energy sensitives feel so much better when they're next to, let's say, a river that's flowing or a lot of folks go to the ocean, right? It's a lot of ionization going on there. And so that helps to clear you out and lift you up. Um, and these are biochemical reactions that all have a, uh, a, an energetic component to it. I mean, everything here is what? Frequency, vibration, and energy, right? Um, so. You know, I wanna, I wanna throw the second thing at you. So nature, putting your feet in some dirt, putting your feet in some water. Um, usually, that's gonna help to ground you out and to help you make you feel a lot better. Think about it when you're feeling kind of like zhuzh. If you think about the the four directions for a minute, and you're feeling kind of anxious, let's say, right? Like you're, you're out of sorts. Let's say revved up. You can you can almost envision your molecules bouncing around everywhere, right? Well, you don't really want to add air or fire to that. So you don't want to do things that have kind of an air or fire principle to them, right? You want to do things that have a water or, or earth principle to them. And that helps to bring it into form and to mellow that down for you so you're not out. So that's an easy way for you to get some understanding as to why putting your feet in some dirt, you doing a little bit of like changing pots out, you know, when you're gardening or whatever with your hands in that dirt, that kind of thing, that transmission, you walking around barefoot, that transmission helps to, helps for that flow to work out. Okay. Second thing I think is huge. When you're feeling depleted, when you're feeling like, uh, really important for you to get a big meal in you. Um, a big meal. When I do sessions with folks and, you know, there's a lot of energy work going on there. Um, as, I'm, as we're working through something, you know, I'm helping to clean you in a conscious manner. I'm working with you to help you clean you. And there's a lot of energy work going on there while we're addressing whatever, you know, whatever we're discussing and whatever we're working on. Um, but afterwards, it's really important to get a good meal in you because you feel kind of like, because there was, there was a, there was a big letting out of, right? There was a, uh, you know how you put something in water and then, you know, and then it, and then it clears out over a little bit of time. I can't think of the word right now in my head, but you get what I'm saying. It's kind of like that. So as we work, that energy kind of goes out like something you'd pour into water and then ultimately it just disappears because there's so much water. It just kind of, it kind of absorbs everything in the water. That's kind of what occurs. So. Um, I'm saying that to you is that can happen to you when you're just, you know, you've had a, a, just a hellacious week, right? And you're just feeling this. That's something for you to consider too. One really big meal. And, you know, something that has a little bit of fat to it 
and I don't mean fried food I mean like a steak I mean like you know lamb I mean yeah, I'm sorry for my veggie friends I'm, I'm coming from a place of whatever you get your fat from that kind of fat whatever that's called I'm not a nutritionist I'm just telling you what feels good a beer um, I'm not a big fan of alcohol in general when I'm, I'm saying like liquor but beer I'm a, I'm a fan of in terms of its, its properties to help satiate a lot after a lot of meditation after you do a lot of work a lot of people a lot of shaman do do beer do this because that's what helps to kind of like uh, uh, rebalance you somehow whatever's in beer so um, something to think about so you know I want you to experiment the point here is a number two is you need to find those foods those things that really kind of bring you up so what you're trying to do is fill yourself up in two ways the energy side that you would get from like something light like uh, a salad that kind of stuff that burns fast or whatever you're doing with fruits and, and that kind of thing you're getting that but you want something heavier to really you know do it for you okay and the third thing third thing is in that same time if you can if those last two things if you can do the meal and rest then you know a day or so later what's really helpful is you want to do some meditation you want to do you want to be able to sit with yourself and meditation for me is not that you have to sit here with your with finger gestures you don't understand on your knees without an understanding of why they're on your knees and then trying to keep your legs in a certain, that's not what all this is about you're talking about ritual that's ritual um, and and we can discuss the benefit of mudras and things like that I understand but I'm coming from a simplified just getting to a daily practice or something that helps you right now which is man if you just sat in a chair with your feet on the floor preferably without shoes on so again you get some of that benefit of clearing you know but if you sat yourself in a chair and you just breathe and my simple technique is you do four in and four out and it's a it's a it's a breath like this you know what I'm saying you're not trying to breathe fast this isn't like root type breathing where you're trying to bring energy up and things like that this isn't what we're doing we're just what we're trying to do is just get into a rhythm and you be in your rhythm because your four count may be a little different than my four count and that's okay but you get into your rhythm and that's going to really really help you out and so just know that you could do that in the middle of an office is you know and do just you could do that for a couple of minutes and you'll get your you'll feel what i'm saying it works it really does work to help bring you back for that moment so I hope that's really helpful.